fascinating. Interesting. Phenomenal. Enlightening. <laughs> another video on my channel and welcome back to the first episode of a new series that I'm going to be doing called rum and tea where basically I hang out with the coolest people and we spill some tea about whatever there's no rum today because I as always am unprepared and I forgot to buy some it's Sunday <laughs> what did you just <laughs> drinking peach peach tea today mm. so for the first episode the guest is the lovely Vanessa Resendez y'all have seen her many many times many many times the guest choose the topic so for this episode we're going to be talking about 2019 and setting resolutions and achieving your goals and all that fun stuff so take it away okay <laughs> I wanted to talk about realizing what you want to bring into the new year, kind of manifesting that kind of stuff. Um, I'm really into making vision boards, as you know. So I brought my vision board of 2019. Um, and this was the first vision board that I had made in like forever, like forever. And they were just like, let's do it. And I'm like, okay, cool. We have random magazines. I'm gonna just pick like, oh, that looks cool. Like, <laughs> I like that. I wasn't thinking anything of it, but the cool thing about this and what happened is that pretty much everything on this vision board came true. This is for this year or for last year? This was year? for 2018. Oh. Yeah. Like again, like wasn't thinking about it. It was just like a fun thing to do and everything came true. Like I was like, oh, I want to go to Petra one day. Well, last year my friend ended up going to Petra and brought me back some debt, some dirt from Petra that I have now like on my altar, which is super cool. I was, I was wanting to do um, ayahuasca. Um, and I ended up doing it. I just got um, a tattoo on my hand. That was... <gasps> oh, I didn't even notice that. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Um, my tattoo in Japanese basically means the light that shines between the leaves, which I really just like that whole idea. So that happened. Um, I really embraced like my vegetable eatings. We did that cleanse that we, we did. did together, which we're about to start again. Um, I went to a lot of drum circles. I've spent a lot of time in the desert this past year, um, just really focusing on my yoga. I bought a lot of crystals last year. Oh, the music. I like the guitar one because do you, you don't play guitar, do you? I don't, but I But have. you did realize that you wanted to start getting more into music right. this year. Right, right. That was my vision board from last year, and it was just crazy that it all just happened to come true. And I think that when you like make take time out of your life to like focus on that kind of stuff manifesting your wildest dreams into reality yeah and so i have i made my vision board for 2019 which is significantly bigger but because i realized oh shit that stuff actually is two-sided yes oh wowza i'm not gonna i won't go through everything because it's a <laughs> lot but just like when i realized like oh my god this stuff actually can come true i was more specific with what i put on the vision board and like i bought magazines that i like mm -hmm. and so this kind of more reflects me. This is my love and sex and sensuality, which I want to embrace more of this year, like I told you. Flowers and beauty and dancing and food, and I need to drink more water, so definitely put that there. Um, this picture of this pretty older lady, because I want to embrace aging gracefully. Oh, I like the pasta section. Yeah. And then my rainbow pride. I amazing. recommend definitely that people put that effort into um, figuring out what you want. Like, what do you want? What do you want to bring into your life, you know? So actually, there is a day in January. Okay, hold on. Let me research. The second Saturday in January is National Vision Board Day. Oh my god, how funny. Yeah. Really? And didn't you make this last weekend? Yeah, I did. Which was last, the second Saturday. Wow. Yeah. Weird. It was either last year or the year before. I believe it was the year before. I made a video actually where I made a vision board and it wasn't like this, but I put up just like streams of pictures on my wall of all the places that I wanted to go to. The whole rest of that year up until last year, those places just all started falling into my lap and I like 
checked off like half of them. Like yeah. I wanted to go to Colorado, I went there yeah, for the first time, Los Angeles, New York, like all of those places. Mm -hmm. Just from having that in your room, sitting on your wall, looking at it every day, and you just, you like casually glance at it. You don't even like really study it and like make it happen, but I think just like surrounding yourself with those things that you want, you, you're bringing it into your life. Absolutely, like just yeah. being kind of maybe like you're just subconscious, like you said, like you're looking at it but you're not looking at it, but it's like there. Yeah. And you're like, I don't know, you like, I don't know, will it into, it fruition? I don't know. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy and it's awesome. And I'm excited for 2019. Are you? I'm so excited for 2019. We can segue this into numerology and how this okay. is Universal Year 3. Okay. And then, what you know, what year are you on, personal? Mm, two or three. You know what? This will be perfect. We can calculate it right here. Okay, look at that. Oh my god, look. We can even turn our little board into a chalkboard and do math on the back. Although I will need your calculator on your phone. So let's erase my name. That was a great erasing <laughs> job. Numerology. Numerology. <laughs> well, numerology is, I mean, I guess technically it would be considered what, the study of numbers? But I know it um, is connected to Pythagoras and his kind of teachings, and apparently he has his whole like system of math and numbers and teaching, but apparently the whole other half of his teaching has to do with what they call numerology and how numbers, each individual number has its own specific vibration and meaning. So when you add up all the numbers in your birthday, it spits out one single number. That spits out your personal number and that's whatever life path that you're on. Right. Yes. And then you can calculate your number for each year that it is. And so like, because it's just a continuous cycle. Right, right. from so. one to nine, the years go from one to nine, so. And then the entire world is also on a certain number every year that right. they go by. Right. So for instance, let's just start with 2019. So nine plus one is 10, plus two is 12. <laughs> and then, so then you get 12, but then you have to add one and two, which is three. You can really just look this up, like most websites can kind of tell you what they are. What, but you know what a three was, because your last year was a three, right? Do no, my year this year is, is a three, three, so it's a three and a three. Intense. All of it. Do you know? So year one is like, things are starting, but when things starting, things are ending. Right. So a year one is for a lot of change, and you're starting over, and you're starting a completely new cycle. Year two, you start to kind of realize and kind of put these ideas into place about where your life is going to go from there. And then year three is when all of it just really sets into motion and all of your plans can go. Yeah. And it's actually very interesting because last year I was just really super trying to force myself to go out and explore and travel and do all of these things and I really wanted to move. But no matter how hard I tried and no matter how much I worked, it just wasn't all falling into place. And now just the timing of everything is like super perfect. And, um, yeah, I'm not going to go too far into detail yet <laughs> because I'm not going to tell y'all yet what's happening. But stuff's but happening. Stuff's happening. It's time to, like, yeah. get out and, like, let's do the things now. Right. And we all should be experiencing that a little bit since it's university right. year three. Yeah. Let's, so get out and do the things. Yeah, it's time. The time is now. To do the thing. 2019 year of you. <laughs> year of all of us. Let's calculate your year. Okay. July 1st. First. And then 1988. My, sure, my path that. number is 7. What is my birthday? Isn't it 4? I think it's 5. Yeah. 3 plus 2 is 5. Okay. Oh, that's right, because our numbers go well together. Yes. Yeah. So then you can kind of look up and see like what your life path number year right. means. If you get like an 11 or 22 and there's yeah, there are 33 master numbers. Master numbers. Yeah, those are really it is your year, it's girl. Intense. Go out there and kill it. Caitlin is a personal year 11 my and look what happened. My brothers too. Literally as soon as January hit, she got a job offer in Dallas, picked up her life and moved and left me here all alone. By that, but I know she started a whole new everything. She so, got a new car, she got like everything is just yeah. completely upside down. Yeah. I'm a life path 11 apparently too this year. That's, All right, that's, girl. Yeah, that's intense. Maybe <laughs> things aren't going to go exactly like you thought they Yeah, were. yeah. I'm a little nervous now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, free delivery through Midnight Postmates. This is a really good website for reading up on what your numbers mean. So if you're a five life path, I'll just kind of 
spell yours out for you since you're lucky and you live like me. It says that we are quick-witted, fun-loving people who love to learn and play. Adventure lovers who need to experience things for yourself. Yes. Nice. It says I'm a natural entertainer. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> this is a highly social vibration, so you are sure to be the life of the party. You're always fun to be around. Totally. Thanks. Seven life path is trust and faith. You're connected to the spirit in all things. Yep. That is insane. Yeah. Look at you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it says your mind is so strong and insightful. You're always picking up on higher frequencies. Therefore, you require a great deal of privacy, alone time, meditation, and introspection to process all the energy and insight you're receiving. Damn. Damn. Yeah. All of this happens for a reason. Yeah, feel for the real. vibration of the numbers yeah. shifting around. Yeah, and <laughs> oh. what's, what's interesting, I'm glad that you said that because, so now that you guys know a little about my like life path number, which is like obviously like we feel these numbers, right? If you ever feel like a little lost on your path, you can always look to the numbers to, to help guide you. They are just insightful about yourself and you will be surprised that like when we just read those numbers, I connect with that. Like I resonate with that. That feels right. Not only that, but astrology too. Astrology too. That's really good to read up on whenever you're a little bit confused or you yeah. want to see why people think the way they do. Like you just don't understand someone, jump on a website and read about their sign. Plug in your compatibility and figure it all out. <laughs> and a great website for that one. Astrology-zodiac-signs.com. Check it. Do they know that you're a Scorpio? Um, I don't know. Do you? Okay, well. Oh, well, I am. She's a Scorpio. <laughs> so now you know that you're a Life Path 5 flavored with Scorpio. Which is crazy because I feel like Scorpios are always like the crazy ones and they always need change and get out there and be yeah. wild. And yeah. It's so you. I can't be tamed. <laughs> You're not meant to be. 2019, year three. The energy of this coming year. The three universal year sparks creativity and optimism. I definitely feel optimistic. The year of creativity and self-expression. Mm. I feel that. I feel that for sure. Yeah, I'm yeah. so ready. Like, I'm. let's change everything that we've grown to love so far and just make it better. <laughs> Is that fire inside of her? <laughs> yeah. Expressing who you are. Like, do you know? Like, just express it and like, don't be scared and it doesn't matter what other people think. Just like, self-express and be who you are and do and what you want to do. Dance naked and yeah. sexual. Yeah, sexual. In your room by yourself. So me, basically. Be Vanessa. <laughs> do yoga naked. I just <laughs> like it. I don't know. I actually enjoy doing yoga naked. It's, and I wouldn't have ever done it if you hadn't have told me that you did it. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> like, what are clothes? <laughs> Get off me. It's just so free. <laughs> Go do stone yoga. <laughs> That's great. Naked. Yeah. Stoned naked yoga. Hell yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't even. Mm. I love it. Like, I really do. Don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> Did you just <laughs> wink? Yeah. I mean, it's cool. It was cool when I was doing it. Now we just... We're, we're older and more mature. We're, uh, we're growing, elevating. We're elevating. Yeah. We're elevating. I like that. Yeah. Spiritually, We're, yeah. we've moved on to a different plane. As you should, like that's just part of living and growing. It's okay to be where you are, of course, but you know, like, move. Just move. Yeah, move, grow. Do something. Yeah. What do you, just get up off the couch, turn off the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stop watching this video. <laughs> Don't watch do this. <laughs> what you need to do. Well, that is going to be it for episode one of Rum and Tea. I hope Ooh. you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, have a good year, guys. Yeah. Have a great year, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down there before you go so you don't miss out on any future episodes of this or any other future videos of this. Later, skaters.